Hi, good night everyone. This is Mr. Small from Knowledge Scroll. I just want to share with you all tonight a simple solution to a very common problem that some of us teachers and students are having uh, while doing our work on Google Classroom. And that would be the inability to edit the PDF documents or picture files that we send our students. So what I'm going to show you today is a simple tool that I found some of my students have been using and that would be the service called DocHub. They claim to be a PDF editor where you can sign, edit and even draw on PDF files. So we're going to explore this service using the Google Classroom. So I'm going to log in here to one of my classes. In particular, I'm going to choose my second form class because I recently gave them an assignment on transformations in geometry. OK, and this is an assignment that would have required them to draw a graph on the graph book or print the assignment. Now, some children have complained that they didn't, did not have the access to a printer or a scanner. So let's explore this solution. So we are here into the assignment. And if I click on the assignment, you see a preview of the assignment. Now what you're supposed to do is go here in the top right hand corner and open this assignment in a new window. This would allow students to download or edit the PDF. And when it loads, all right, you go up here to open with and you should see DocHub where you can sign edit PDF and you click this. You're going to be greeted with a pop-up window, which is going to ask for some permissions. I'm going to try the school's domain. To see if it will be allowed. If not, you may have to use your own personal email account. So now that I've allowed the permissions, let's see what happens. So the worksheet should be loaded. Now the student is asked to reflect these objects um, in various ways. So you can come up here into the editor and there is a simple line tool that students could use. It says the line is x equals to 2. So the student would take their mouse and they will draw the line okay now you want to ref this object is to be reflected across this line so i'm going to actually try to draw this triangle here as a reflection so i start here at the base then i come up and i have to take one more line to connect them together and this is my reflected image so the students can save this and they can even upload it to Google Classroom directly and there they can submit their homework like that so I hope this quick video was of some help to those of you who are using the Google suite of apps especially during this pandemic time both for students and teachers Teachers can also use this software to um, give comments or even draw ticks on students' work. So I hope this video was helpful. If you, if you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.